So today when I logged on the Poshmark app on my desktop, I noticed this notification saying to try this new bulk listing action to easily share your closet. So let's check it out. Once you click the banner, it leads you to your closet and I click the tools button on the side there that you would normally do to share your closet to your followers. Once that loads, I see that there is a new select all button. Once I select that, I notice there's only 48 listings selected, which I definitely have more than that. So I start to scroll down and as my closet starts to load further, I can see that more listings are selected. As I scroll through my listings, you can also see that sold listings and not for sale listings are also being selected in this bulk feature, which will kind of be a problem if I want all those sold listings and not for sale listings to be at the bottom of my closet. However, once I click the share to followers button, it does start to share your listings to all of your followers. Now this is me trying to test out the feature with having all of my listings already loaded by scrolling down to the bottom of my closet where my available listings are and having all of the listings loaded and then going back to the top and doing the same thing that I did previously. It takes a little bit longer to load but once I select all, you can see that there are more listings selected and I start to share it to my followers. Now once I do that, again, there are a few listings that um, were at the bottom of my listing that had loaded when I did this and they of course started to share my sold and not for sale listings that had been loaded when I did this previously. So again, this is kind of a problem. It does save a little bit of time if you do still manually share your closet and don't use automation. But again, um, this might be a little bit tedious if you have to manually select all of the sold and not for sale listings prior to bulk sharing your closet. Let me know what you guys think of this new feature. It did also say on the banner that it was going to be live on the app on Monday. So maybe by then they'll sort out this bug, I'm going to call it, and not include the sold and not for sale listings. So again, thanks for watching.